Okay, so I want to kind of just go over a few things with you all uh, if, if you are having trouble with these circuits. Uh, keep in mind that no matter what those drawings look like from the problems, you know, they're drawn with the, uh, in the coordinate plane. When you're use, doing RC circuits, just create these two triangles, okay? It doesn't matter what the uh, drawing looks like to you up there. Just use these two triangles, one for voltage, this one here for voltage, this one here for what we call impedance. Now, inside each triangle, you have one angle. You have theta, okay? So you see with your voltage triangle, you've got V sub R, which you don't really need to know what that means. If you, if you don't know that it's voltage across the uh, resistor, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know half of it, okay? I'm not in that area, but I can still do the math, and so can you. So what you do is you draw either one or both triangles depending on on what all you're finding put in what you know put the numbers in with what you know and then move on then to your trig equations to solve so you kind of see here i've got the sine of theta for your voltage and i've also got the sine of theta for your impedance so you know sine is opposite over hypotenuse cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what you've got to do then is you've got to fill in what you know and then solve for what you don't know. So if you're having trouble solving with the trigonometry, then you need to go back uh, to the section before the RC circuits and work on, on using your trigonometry. So, uh, you know, there are examples in the videos uh, I've even created a couple uh, last semester that I've kept in there, but there are videos on the actual math side of this. But I think sometimes what gets people is the way that those circuits are drawn on your problems. But all you got to do is just create your triangles. And, you know, that'll make things a little bit better, hopefully. And just remember, you know, here is your right angle. You're only finding one angle. Um and you know solve by cross multiplying that that's the biggest thing i've always told my students to do uh, you can always solve by cross multiplying um and i will uh, maybe show you that here shortly but i think i've shown that on the other videos that i've created within the rc and rl circuits um another thing to keep in mind that v sub c and x sub c are both negative in an rc circuit when you look at the uh, drawing in the coordinate plane, it's down there in the fourth quadrant. So these are negative, and your angle is also negative. So if you don't uh, indicate those as negative for your answers, it's going to count it wrong. So just make sure, just put a negative in front of it. You know, it doesn't matter whether you use negative or positive when you're calculating everything, because it's not going to matter, because trigonometry is just ratios positive negative ratio doesn't matter but when you list your final answers v sub c and x sub c are negative and so are the angle measures okay so that's one uh, issue you might be encountering uh, another issue might be uh, actually uh, using the x sub c formula and uh, I've shown an example on how to do that one as well I believe in my RC circuits one of my videos I created. So uh, keep in mind, you know, to calculate that thing correctly. The best way to do that, and hang on for a second right here, bear with me. Because I haven't figured out how to get this camera behind me, so i got to kind of turn things upside down. But your X sub C is 1 over 2 pi F C. So, you know, here's where when I talked about using those prefixes, you got to make sure you use them correctly. Okay. So, you know, what I do, if I'm finding X sub C, all right, and let's just say that, you know, I've got, hold on here. Let's say that my frequency is 10 kilohertz. And my C is 20 nanofarads. And I want to find 
x sub c okay that's the setup sorry about that that is your setup okay like that okay so what you've got to do is just substitute these numbers in but keep in mind that k means times 10 to the third n means times 10 to the negative 9 so here's the best way to do this when you're calculating that okay you say x sub c is 1 over 2 pi is 6.28 times 10 times 10 to the third times 20 times 10 to the negative 9 okay so you set it up like that here you go here's something you can do on your calculator now just multiply these three numbers together hit equals and then on your calculator you should have one of these two buttons you should have either 1 over x or x negative 1 now once you multiply these three together and then press that hit equals and then press 1 over x it will take 1 divided by that and you'll get your answer for x sub c or hit your x to negative 1 button it'll do the same thing the problem with most people is they do 1 divided by and they don't group this correctly and then you get the wrong answer so it's much easier if you just multiply these three numbers together then hit your 1 over x or x negative 1 button to get the value for x sub c okay um, also you know you gotta pay attention to uh, your prefixes for x sub c as well so you know when I spoke of having trouble with the engineering prefixes way back uh, after exam one that's what I'm talking about because you have to know you know if x sub c is measured in in kilo ohms or if it's just measured in ohms because your units have to be consistent throughout your triangle so if you get a value for x sub c and you need to convert it back to k ohms don't forget to move the decimal three to the left okay so hopefully this kind of helps you a little bit um, again there's videos in in the class already created that shows examples but what I wanted you to get was you know to draw those two triangles and if you're not having trouble with the trigonometry then that should help you if you are having trouble with the trigonometry then you need to go back and practice watch the videos practice the trigonometry section and if you're really just getting stuck then you know uh, come by my office or go get tutoring uh, this is something that's very difficult you know to uh, just email about because there's just so many steps involved and the drawings needed you know I can do my best over email but it's much easier if you can just come by and see me or uh, you know go to tutoring so anyway so I'm gonna stop this one uh, I will create another one about RL circuits very similar but I'll create another one and uh, hopefully we can uh, help you out there